Greetings, in this video I'll be demonstrating how you can install single player modifications to the game Hellgate London using the revival tools. For those who may be unfamiliar with the files I'm referencing and using, I'll include links in the description below. So quick note, there are two separate launchers, each for specific modifications. In this video I'll be covering what's dubbed as the new launcher, so kindly make sure that the modification you wish to install requires this launcher and not what's dubbed as the old one. The two are quite different, so I'll be covering the old one in another video to avoid any confusion. So, step 1. Install the game. If you have a previously modified version of the game, it is highly recommended that you do a fresh installation, otherwise there may be conflicts with modifications you wish to install. Step 2. Download the new launcher and extract it to your game directory. Again, links to these files can be found in the description below. So I will locate my launcher and move it to the default game directory. That's in Program Files, Flagship Studios, Hellgate London. I'll paste it here and extract it. Yes. And that suffices to set up the launcher. Step 3. Download the 1.2 SP patch and the 2.0 MP patch. Install them and run both the SP and MP clients once. So I'll locate my patches and first install the 1.2 SP. Now, if you have previously installed this patch, you will be presented with this error. However, you should still be good to go. Next, the 2.0 MP patch. and finish. Now we will need to run both the SP and MP clients of the game once, so C, Program Files, Flagship Studios, Hellgate London. And we launch the single player game. This is actually a mandatory step, as this allows the game to create some additional files that many modifications will require. Uh, do note at this point that you will not need to play the game. Simply reaching the character creation screen will suffice. So cancel and quit. Now we'll need to locate our MP client. Run it. Uh, do note that said clients link to flagships long defunct MP servers. It's of no consequence that the game has no MP servers to connect to. Simply reaching the main menu suffices for this step. This is actually a mandatory step as it allows the game to create some more additional files that many modifications will require. Step 4. Download the modifications you wish and use the launcher to install. Once again, links to modifications can be found in the description below. So I'll go once more to the game directory and run the new launcher. Here you'll need to go to Utilities, Modifications and Install. Now you'll need to locate the modifications you have previously downloaded. For this example I will use Revival 1.5, which is the modification that this launcher was designed for. It's important to note at this point that almost any modification that has been released after Revival 1.5 can be installed with this launcher. Select any optional components you may wish and install. And that's it. Step 5. Run the game. So that's it. 
If you encounter any issues during this process, please don't hesitate to ask for support here or in the Revival community. Thank you for watching.